Hey, y'all, and thank y'all. So what we gonna do is make us a ribeye steak soup or a steak soup. It came out phenomenal. Y'all ready? Now let's get going. So now what we have is the butter in the pan, in the soup pan. And I have that butter on high heat, believe it or not. First thing I add in is my mirepoix. Look up mirepoix, onions, celery, carrots. Or you can have a Cajun mirepoix, look it up. But that ain't what we doing right now is the Cajun style, even though I am in Texas. And I love my Louisiana folks, because I got folks from Louisiana myself too. Mm, yeah, anyway, back to it. So now what we doing is we letting that mirepoix simmer on high heat. Next, we add in tomatoes. Now these tomatoes, I could have cut up, but no, no. I want the tomatoes to burst on their own. So I have it on high heat. And I am watching it. I'm guiding it now. I'm guiding it. So it does not burn and stick to the bottom of the pan. You got to go ahead and let all that simmer up together. Those tomatoes are going to burn. Now be careful. Don't let it burn now. Don't burn them down. All right? Now we're moving forward. Now we're adding in a little bit of water. So what we're doing here now is we're making a stock. All right? I'm using Better Than Bouillon. It's a beef base. Beef base. It can be salty. So be careful what you add. We're making a stock. We're not making the soup quite yet. So you're going to see what you come up with when you make your stock yourself. All right? You let that boil. If you got steak bone, add that in there. Chop up a little steak fat if you want to. Add that in there. And simmer, simmer now. Make sure you do that. Now go ahead and get your whatever else together. I'm adding red potatoes. Red potatoes are phenomenal in soups. They work out so much better than Russ's or Golden. So look, look. While that was cutting up potatoes, we made our stock. Take a look for yourself. This is the stock that you just made. Mm, don't it look good? That's the base. That's the mother of your soup. Mm-hmm. That's where your soup coming from. Now, let's go ahead and add some water. And I have this on high heat again. Now, we're going to bring that to a boil. Right? Now, I must say, when I was making the stock, I did cut the heat down to low after it started to reduce. I kept the lid off so it can reduce. If you keep the lid on, it will not reduce. See, San Marzano tomatoes. I use Italian green beans. I had them in my, ca in my cabinet, my pantry. And I use mushrooms that was left over. There goes some leftover steak. This is a whole ribeye, but it's all good. It's left over. So we're going to go ahead and cut that up. Make sure you cut it up in nice pieces. Don't have no big old chunks in there now. Add some more water. You see those potatoes? You want it to be able to fit on the spoon. If your vegetables cannot fit on the spoon, that is not soup, all right? We add these Italian green beans in there. We're going to add our mushrooms up in that thing, too, all right? We're going to go ahead and give it a stir. Notice, I'm just now adding in my flavor agents. I'm using some Montreal steak seasoning. Now, it's soup. You must add more flavor agents than what you would normally add if it was just not a liquid-based dish. So, since it is soup, you must over-season and watch. I'm not using any salt at all because that beef base has salt in it. So, I want to make it a little bit healthier than normal. And all the fats and all the seasonings from the steak in the, that I cooked earlier. And also, I'm going to add some of the leftover veggies that I had in here too from the night before i have some mushroom bell pepper and onion we're gonna add that in there and i'm gonna add some canned veggies in there we bringing this to a boil all right they go to canned veggies we drop them in there like it's hot that's the mushroom onion bell pepper that i sauteed up the night before that has flavor in there we're gonna drop that like it's hot even though it's ice cold then we got these right here steak you see that steak the steak is diced it's cut up it can fit on a spoon and that's what you want when you serve your people now take a look at what you just made that's what you just did. You did that. The steak went in last. Why? Because the steak is cooked. So now it's on the simmer. Simmer now. And I let the steak go ahead and simmer on up so it don't get tough. All right? At the very end. All right? And now what's that over there in the corner? I don't know, but we can get to that in a sec. Now we're going to go ahead and just bowl this up. Now take a look at what you just did. Man, that was so, so good. I'm telling you, you did a real good job. Phenomenal work. Grandma would be so proud of you. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you, so is Grandpa, Big Daddy, whatever you call them, Pop Pop. They are proud of your mama, are proud of you. Your mama proud of you. I'm proud of you. Way to go. I knew you had it in you. And then what do we have? We have some jalapeno cheddar, bacon, cornbread. We might as well have that with our soup, too. And thank y'all. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. And be sure to subscribe, y'all. We're going to keep coming with food videos and all sorts of positivity. God bless you.